Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech fan. In this video, I'd like to compare a noise from 3D printers. And actually, the idea came from one of my previous videos when I did something similar, but with filament dryers. And with this video, I would like to motivate a little bit uh, 3D printer manufacturers to create a little bit quieter printers. I'm very happy that uh, now modern printers usually use those silent stepper motor drivers. And with this, we don't have that uh, uh, freak noise from the stepper motors, but uh, in most cases they still use very loud fans. Usually on printers we have uh, at least four fans. One is the hot end fan, which is always on. The other is the part cooling fan. And then we have on power supply unit fan and also one fan for uh, cooling the main board and stepper motor drivers. And usually those fans are quite loud. Now, uh, silent fans exist. I understand for Chinese companies that it's a little bit expensive to use notch fans because I think they are manufactured in Austria, but I'm sure that uh, they are available somewhere in, in China too. And I think that company will make a real fortune if uh, the printer manufacturers will start using those fans. Okay, uh, how will I measure? Uh, I want everything to be comparable even not only within this video, but also in future videos when I get some printer for a review and everything will be uploaded to my website and always I will add a new line when I have a, a new printer. So uh, I hope really that this will motivate uh, manufacturers to create uh, quieter printers. Everything I will measure with dedicated sound level meter because I noticed that uh, on smartphone uh, I tried one app and uh, I got uh, 10 decibel difference when I measured with my phone and my wife's phone and that's because the microphone sensitivity is different. So everything we measure with this uh, UA961, uh, I did a review of this uh, tool a few months ago and uh, this is directional microphone so it will be pointed to the printer in the same level where the hot end is. The distance is also very important and I will measure half meters from the closest point uh, from the hot end. And I will not hold it in a hand, I printed this holder so it will be on uh, placed on the tripod. And I will always wait for the quiet uh, environment, so usually I will record it at night or something like that, because I don't want any background noise to deform the measuring. And with this method, uh, every measuring, even in the future videos, will be comparable, comparable with each other, and everything will be placed in that uh, data table on my website. But for you viewers, you probably like to hear that uh, noise to compare it. Uh, I will record everything with this Sony ZV-1 camera and I will place this Rode Video micro Microphone on the top. But what is more important, that on this camera I can set the recording level manually and it will be set to 25. Uh, and with this, uh, every recorded audio will be comparable with each other. So usually I will record uh, these uh, printers one by one and then at the end I will compare that audio level next to each other. Uh, here you can see the list of printers. In all cases I will record with the PLA printing because in this case the part cooling fan is always on a maximum and of course I will record everything after at least fifth layer because usually the part cooling fan is turned off on first few layers. So uh, all fans should be on maximum and with this I hope that uh, these results are comparable with each other.
let's open the door. And these are the numbers from loudest to quietest and I also added some important comments in this column. And this table goes to the MyTech1 website and now let's listen to them one more time and in exactly this order. And now the final thoughts. I don't know is there any need for conclusions because the numbers tell you everything. Uh, but of course there are always peaks in the sound. But uh, these uh, numbers which I will add to this table are the most common operating uh, noise. And this is what we are listening most of the time. And now at least I had the solution. So for, uh, in every new review of say, the printer, I will do this test and always I will add a new line in that table. So uh, that uh, numbers will be comparable with each other. And I will ask a little help uh, from you because uh, my channel is still very small and I don't think that uh, Creality or some big companies will watch this video. But if they notice it, maybe they will think about it that there are people for who uh, the noise may be a deal breaker to buy or not some printer. Uh, for example, of course, some printers uh, like Ender 7 are designed for speed. So here I can forgive that bigger noise. But uh, for example, FSN Super Razor has very similar speeds. Actually, for smaller parts, it's even faster because it has better acceleration and it's much quieter. Of course, uh, we can always. Uh, do some modifications, for example, and the 3V2. If you search on the internet, we can replace all those fans with by a notch fans, but this fans uh, works on 5 or 12 volts, so this means that we need uh, some buck converters, and also don't forget that some fans uh, works on PVM, so they have to be uh, reduced, for example, on part cooling if necessary. And uh, why is this not done in factories? So I hope uh, in future that. Uh, even Creality or other companies will start creating uh, quieter CD printers. I don't know, what's your opinion? Is this a deal breaker? How important is the noise of the CD printer for you? Left me a line in a comment. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and happy printing!